So we broke into Davis's house. No one's here. We wanted to work on the engine. We got bored. It's Friday. It is Friday. I didn't go to work because my back hurts a lot. So uh, I decided to work on the engine instead because because that'll that's, help. That seems like a better idea. To avoid back pain, don't ride in a Chevelle and hit a Mercedes. So uh, none of you know this, but his soon-to-be stepfather has a nice 67 Chevelle SS. Well, it was nice. It used to be nice. He took me to Mets for a ride, and he crashed it. And we found I, a Mercedes with a huge magnet in the front end, and we just and couldn't avoid it. He, yeah, he, he almost ditched it, but then hit the Mercedes instead, and I shattered the windshield with my head. So now I have permanent back problems. Hey. Tristan had to help me out of the car because I was screaming in I pain. Had to, I had almost cut the seatbelt off him because he's being a little bitch. <laughs> Motherfucker, I would happily switch you places. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. My stomach been fucked up. So then take a look at this, actually. Come, come look at this baby timing chain. Even the single link, even the single link is is wider that than is the a original. Beefy fucking timing chain. This is why it needs the uh, the machine oil pump cover to even clear the the cover. So yeah, we'll cut to uh, when we actually start on the engine. So uh, basically, what we're doing is we're taking the crank and uh, the cam and the rods completely out because uh, rebuild. So we're going to have to send it to a machine shop and have it completely done. It's going to Larry's, everyone. Yeah, going to Larry's. Going to Larry's uh, machine shop. Machine yeah. Emporium. If you're in the uh, Portland metro area and you need machine work, go to Larry's. There's a, there's a also... Don't go to Tom's. There's also a place called Tom's in town, and they wanted to charge me $150 extra dollars for the same amount of work, which is... And they have worse reviews, so they only have like a 3.6 on Google. The rings look like they're completely destroyed, almost. I don't know if it's like for sure, but they're supposed yeah, to stick I, out more I than that. I just had a feeling that this engine's had the crap kicked out of it. I don't think so. I think it's just been sitting. It might have. This, see, this is what the rings are supposed to look like. Yeah. You know, what he used to do is, uh, he'd bring me the pistons after he took them out, and he'd have me re-ring them all. Oh, really? Yeah, he showed me how to re-ring them, and he'd just have me do it. Just as something to do. Are the rings supposed to be, pistons. like, kind of like that? I think so, yeah. You're supposed to scrape the oil off from all these stuff. Well, th yeah, yeah. And this is the one, the bottom one is the one that uh, brings the oil up with it, and then the two scrape it down. And look at this. This is crazy difference. Yikes. Yeah, maybe it did. Up. Maybe it did run with water in it. Maybe it Pump did blow a head gasket. Um. See how these did head gaskets look when they came off? Uh. Were they in okay shape or were they like torn or anything? We really, with with it on the heads and with it on the. Uh, with, could you tell if they were blown? At all. Because, to be honest, to be honest. something Brandon mentioned is if your head and gaskets weren't the cause of that, it could very well be a cracked block. Yeah, I don't think it is a cracked block, though. And I don't think it was a head gasket. I think it was something else. I think it was just from sitting. I mean, what what it could have been on one of them is, I mean, you see how bad that exhaust manifold, or exhaust uh, or is. It could have gotten through the, into the manifold and then in there and then just leaked through the valve. But that doesn't explain all the shit that it was in the... Uh, Oil pan and the crankcase. So, 
I really don't know. I really have no idea. What's the cubic inch on that? Two, four sixty five? Four sixty two. Four sixty two. So it's just about double. I've got two of these in mind. Because this one's a two thirty one. Yeah. It's exactly double. What the fuck? That's crazy. Do you have two of these engines? <laughs> two more cylinders, but twice the cubic inch. Davis is concerned that we're going to need the, uh, this thing balanced, but I don't think so if it's an OE crank. I mean, you can get it balanced, it's good for the engines, but it's not necessary. I don't think that... Both my grandpa and my uncle's engines are balanced. They would have liked to have them balanced just for the uh, extra little bit of reliability and a little bit of uh, like just yeah. benefit, but you don't need it. I've looked, I've looked it up from uh, on forums that specifically just talk about rebuilding engines and they say if you have an OE crank it will be balanced practically from the start and what you can do is you can weigh your pistons and if they all weigh the same then it's fine I but, don't match weight but my uh, cranks turn 2020 so I mean if you you can still check though if your pistons are uh, if they weigh the same and if they weigh the same to the gram you, you they're fine and they're balanced and if they're not you basically just shave a little bit of metal off and until they're until they weigh the exact same and then they're fine so i feel like balancing at that point you can do all that yourself if it's a, if it's an oem crank that you bought from a, a, a store it should be the exact same i didn't actually ask him how much uh getting the imported oil polish would cost because they'd have to see it to really know because they, they'd have to see it to really know what they'd be able to port well, I mean, I, I'm gonna bring them in anyway, so I can talk to them then. But polished? It would, this polish, would they just polish like the uh, the inside of where? Yeah, the intake and exhaust ports. That way, there's nothing causing air turbulence. See, if they just ported that, would uh, would that be able to solve that? Could they do that? I don't know. Questions for them. Right. Show them them and be like, hey, uh, what do? E. Bottom. E. 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 So we just took the cam bolt off so we can get the timing cover there off. There we go. Or the timing chain off. It's probably something else holding it on. It should slide, because it was sliding earlier. Yeah, that's not anything. Yeah, you could just take it off. I just think you might need to tap it. Yep, there you go. Well, this, yeah. Sick. Did you show the big, so thick, I thick showed, boy? I didn't. Oh, actually, we did show it on the video, but we can do it again. Vance, hold this. What? All the pistons. I just came home to this. They already tore it down. Timey boy. The camera's about to die, so let's hurry up. <clears throat> yeah, the just, thick... just one link is thicker than the Yeah, seriously. One. What's the point of just a thicker timing chain so it doesn't skip or anything like that? Uh, well actually break. with with too much with too much power, these can actually stretch. And then oh, it'll break. That's not good. 
Which is kind of crazy thinking that that chain could stretch. Yep. Engines. Hey, we should just do the full send and do max timing advance. Yes. I don't see, see why not. Boy. I don't see Boy. why not. Boy, no. So you talk with your tuner, and then he's just like, I'm going to leave it at this. I'm going to leave it at, you know, 22, 24 degrees. And then, and then you then you're add just like add 30. Well, you could add six. It's <laughs> on Maximum top of that. six. So you're like, man, fuck this guy. I'm going to do six. Yep, like, six more. Can I have more? More timing mouse. Yeah. <laughs> more timing mouse. <laughs> Yeah, so. Yep, now we just got these castle, um, I don't know what you'd call them, these big old main bearing caps. Out, and then we gotta get the, the camshaft. Cam and, and then we gotta get all the, uh, <clears throat> the camshaft bearings out, and then that should be good. Yep. So, I mean, that should honestly be pretty quick, and then we're gonna send it off to the machine shop to get uh, the cylinder uh, walls rehoned, part washed, the cylinder heads resurfaced, and I think that's about it, really. We called hey, the machine look. shop, the local one, and they wanted like 150 more dollars to do it. Yeah. Same job. And then, so. then the and then, then the machine reviews. shop that Vince brought his Go Buick Marys. is 455 too. And they so. had shitty reviews. So. Yeah. And by the way, so like all of these, uh, all of these are pretty perfect. But look at these two. These are really badly yeah, scored. Yeah, scored. I mean, good thing we got a new crankshaft. Yeah, and these stunk really bad when we took them off. Oh, yeah. It smelled. What are the like What are the bearings? Would well, you know which ones were which? Over here. None of them. Fucking spun, but. So those are the ones from, uh, see these are the ones that looked fine, but these were the ones that, uh... Oh yeah, definitely, those are scored as hell. So. Nice. Yeah. We just need to get new, new, yeah, some new APR studs. Dude, just uh, show them your new steering wheel. Gaskets. <clears throat> That'll be on Here. Instagram. Give me that. Put in the light. I got a new steering wheel for the Mustang. It's a 2014 steering wheel, and uh, I'm putting my 08. So I'm get, also going to see about getting the uh, uh, buttons working, but it's going to be pretty awesome. He's I'll doing post the that. he's doing the airbag delete. Airbag delete. Yep. Yeah. Just place your head in the hole. Alrighty, well that will. Well, no, what you got to do is you got to put confetti in there, and then oh, put, geez. It, put the <laughs> <laughs> when you hit something. Poof! Yeah. It'll be a surprise, like a surprise party. All right, well, that, that's where we're going to end it off tonight. Uh, we'll probably record more tomorrow and uh, finish tearing this down totally. Look how small the camshaft looks in there. Such a little it's baby such cam. Such a baby cam. A baby cam. Everything in this is so much smaller than this. Oh, by the way, so his is a his his block, his 455 is a 462. This is a 231, so this is exactly double. <laughs> He is exactly, is exactly double. exactly double. Oh, that's this. hilarious. So, so his double the is displacement. Two of these. Holy shit! <laughs> but just with two extra cylinders, it's crazy. That's hilarious. And this one's gonna make more power. No, no, no. I know, never. Hey, with the supercharger, maybe more torque. No, no. Dude, you're gonna make six hundred plus foot pounds of torque. Okay, maybe, maybe twin charge. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see.